search for you in all the way. I search for you in love, but I never find you. I never find you. You seek for me to worship you, to worship you in truth, cause only you know me. I know that you know me. Springs of water welling up, eternity within my heart. Now I know I'm yours and you are mine. No longer seeking for my love, your healing brought me back to life. I freely come to say, here am I, here am I, O oh Lord, here am I, O oh Lord, here am I, O oh Lord, here am I. Closely connected to the question of time is the concept of eternity. Eternity. Eternity for us is a, a time extending without limits back, back, backwards in the past and forward, forward, forward in the future. Eternity would be a kind of line endlessly going back to the depths of the past and endlessly plunging to the depth of the future. And this is our concept of eternity in God. As we say in the prayers of the Mass, the Latin Mass, we say, as it was in the beginning, and now, and ever shall be, world without end. So for us, God comes from deep, the deepest past, and we live until the deepest future. And no wonder that uh, we represent God, God the Father, with a big beard and white hair and a kind of, he's a, an old man, very old man, comes from the oldest ages of eternity. But this concept is completely wrong because eternity is not the extension of time is the concentration of time. Eternity is not a duration. Instant after instant after instant, year after year after year, century after century, no. This is the wrong concept of eternity, which is misleading, totally misleading. I would like to point out with you uh, the true concept of eternity. Eternity is what is called in Latin total, tota simul, tota simul, simultaneity, this whole thing, the whole time in one instant, in one moment. This moment is not the uh, uh, I would say, excluding time, but including it. It's a, thing, a concept of inclusion of time. So imagine exactly like in, in science, we speak about the Big Bang at the beginning 13 million years ago. The whole of the universe was in a small point, so deep, so dense, so, uh, so
so concentrated that uh, all the matter contained by the present universe, the galaxies, the suns, the stars, all that was concentrated in one point not bigger than the top of a pin. I would say the same about time. I would say the same about God. When we say God is eternal, does not does not mean that he comes from the remote past. No, he is the present. He is the present. He is not an old man. He is a baby. God is a baby. We are. It's difficult for us to imagine God as a baby. And uh, and this is connected to the the idea that God is birthing out at each moment in the process of birth of uh, stamming up coming up at each moment as a, a, a total novelty is new and this is why the best uh, concept of God is a source. Imagine a source. It's not an ocean. We imagine God as an ocean, endless ocean, with endless waters. No, God is not an ocean. God is a source. And uh, this concept of uh, God brings us to the core of the present. God is the present. God is the present moment. The instant in which we live is the newness of God. And this is so enriching for our spiritual life. Spiritual life is not uh, something which uh, uh, it's like a lake, like a, like an ocean, like a sea. No spiritual life is about living the present moment with intensity. And uh, if we if we enter in this concept, eternity would not be a time after after life. We speak sometimes about the afterlife. Eternity would come when life ends up. No, eternity does not come after life. Eternity is here and there. Eternity is the present moment. How rich we can live our life if eternity becomes each moment we live with total concentration with total intensive, intensivity. And uh, I would say that uh, if we imagine heaven in the future, what we call the future now, after life, I would say, as a kind of contemplation of God sitting on a throne, we have to adore him and to contemplate him and to admire him and to incense him it's so it would be so boring imagine i i'm not insulting god but a god staying on a throne like that and asking us just to bow in front of him and to respect him it's it's not very attractive it's not uh, it's not very motivating. Nobody would like such a, a heaven, which is the common concept of heaven, which we inherited from our teaching, religious teaching. No, heaven is it a newness. At each moment, God is new. God is renewing itself. God is birthing up. Gregorius of Nisu is saying about God or about the, the 
the saved people in heaven, they go from beginning to beginning towards a beginning without no end. From beginning to beginning, this is a secret of life. I'm always at the beginning of my life. I'm always starting my life. It's a, my life is a, is a total, completely and continuous newness, new. The, the man who is able to live his life as though each moment is a new thing, a new blank page, is a blessed man. It makes life fascinating. It makes life so uh, rewarding, so rich. And, uh, and this is what I would like to, uh, to express. Uh, I would like to invite each of you to live the present moment with such an intensity that uh, it's something, uh, I would say, it's a bliss, a, re a real bliss. What, no matter what you do, whether a, a lady is sewing or cooking or a, a carpenter is trying to, 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 to make a, a table, or a farmer trying to raise cattle or whatever the 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 thing you do has no importance whatsoever it's the quality of your heart the quality of your mind the quality of your presence to invest your whole self to invest your whole self in the present moment makes it eternal eternity is the the secret of living the fullness of the instant, the fullness of the moment hmm, with your total being. And your total being in being investing in this present moment becomes something, a real bliss, as I was saying. So there is a relationship, a deep relationship between what I call eternity and what I call present or instant. And spiritual life is about that, living the presence to the full in order to get out of it the maximum. I have a sentence which I like very much, to make the maximum of the presence. Re attain self-fulfillment in the fleeting moment. This is the secret of time connected to eternity. I search for you in all the way. I search for you in love, but I never find you. I never find you. You seek for me to worship you. To worship you in truth. Cause only you know me I know that you know me Springs of water welling up Eternity within my heart Now I know I'm yours And you are mine No longer seeking for my life Your healing brought me back to life I freely come to say he were mine